Uh, we will explain some other things here in a few minutes on, on placement, but I want to just talk about where we are from a posture standpoint. As you can see, she's up and tall, separating, but the hurdles set you up to run out the end. If you don't continue to accelerate out the end, then the drill really hasn't accomplished what we want it to accomplish. So you're not running to the last hurdle, you're running through it. And this is setting up your step pattern as you come out of it, okay? And as you saw there, she even broke down at the end of it. Okay, run out the end, Tran. Separation, good, good cocked ankle, he runs out the end. Okay, that's good. That's good to show that, okay? That's good, Miller, that's okay. You can see, and uh, he wasn't trying to miss that drill. But what happens, if you aren't really ready to go at the other end of this drill, you're probably not gonna get through the series of hurdles. And he knew it. As soon as he got started, he started a posture wrong. He wasn't lifting good, and he wasn't ready to go. Okay, that was, that was a good drill. That was a good drill that time. Um, his hands uh, aren't exactly what we would want to have. He cups them a little bit. Um, and and we're, we're continuing to work on that while we're doing these drills and while we're competing. So again, when you're watching from the side as the coach, you're looking for that downstroke of that arm movement. You're looking for that downstroke, okay? You're looking at this thumb up. We don't want to cup it. We don't want to turn it here. We don't want to turn it here. We're trying to run thumb up and swing from the shoulder, nice separation of arms. We're continuing to look at that. We've did that through the marching drills, now we're continuing to do that through this series of wickets.